you don't attempt a record without the very real possibility of failure, but we're willing to take that risk because when you do break it, it's something else. I'm sort of like a, an inventor for hire, I suppose. I, I like people to come with, to me with a new, unique problem. I've done things that are completely out of the, the scope of what SOLIDWORKS would normally think. And I knew a few people in the recumbent community that were willing to share the three-dimensional models that they have of their bikes. I also had a, uh, access to a seat of Cosmos Flowworks. So I knew their empirical results of like how much wattage was put into the vehicle and how fast the vehicle went. From that, I could tailor the Cosmos Flow to mimic that on several different vehicles. It took a little bit of time, but I found a, you know, a good setting where everything was quite correct. Then I started testing what I determined would be a good idea for the bike itself. But we didn't build them. When you look at, there was two of us without having built anything. We had, at that point, crested probably five years worth of engineering, and we did it in less than six months. Once we had what we thought was a good design, we started building it up and putting the money towards that. We wanted to make the carbon fiber on the frame itself uh, to use as little as possible. It's, it's not cheap stuff here. It's $40, $50 a meter. What I had done is I just made an essential virtual frame, and I put carbon fiber onto it. I applied the materials according to, to Cosmos Works, and from there loaded it up. It really caters to my freeform way of modeling, but it also helps me constrain it so that it's not freeform by the time I need to get it manufactured. Everybody's human, and, and we didn't actually make the record attempt on the first go. We ended up uh, about six months later going to California to another test track in Eureka, California. And uh, he got in a bike that, that one day after, you know, he's an Ironman athlete, so after tons of training, and he started pedaling, and he just kept going for 24 hours. You get a couple of world records under your belt, and it's, uh, it's very addictive. It, I know it's only two, but it's, it's uh, in such a rush that you, you have to do it again.